angel fly within my life beside me in all Hello, beautiful people. I'm Anna Grace Taylor and welcome to your weekly angel reading for May 27th through to June the 2nd, the end and the beginning of a new month. So let's see what the angel tarot cards have to say for us, first of all, for Monday and Tuesday. Okay, so really, really interestingly, we've had this theme come up so much this year. I really feel like this is one of the repeating uh, messages that the angels are really wanting us to know about 2019. And that is victory. Good news is on its way, which is always great to hear. But once again, public recognition or awards. So this is a, a great successful card, but not just inner success. This is our rewards for doing great work. This is our public uh, persona, if you like. This is the way that we are acknowledged uh, within our work, our career, something that we can be really deeply proud of. Now, of course, we don't need to have public recognition, but it is a part of human life. It is a part of um, celebrating who we are and the gifts that we have to share. So once again, the angels are saying, really open your arms, your heart to the blessings, to the um success that is being given to you but also being um, acknowledged uh, for you. There are going to be people they're saying that will be really um, wanting to um, thank you for who you are and what you have done for them or on a wider scale this week. So begin the week really letting yourself maybe be a bit uncomfortable with that because it can be uh, something that really pushes our buttons in order to um, be the centre of attention in some way. But it's all beautiful because it's part of how um, we are receiving for what we have given. Okay, so that is the start of a beautiful week, Monday and Tuesday. All right, and then interestingly, sometimes we get a real theme for the week. This feels like um, this card is actually very different to the beginning of the week. So as we go into Wednesday and Thursday, this is saying great inner strength, release harsh judgments, forgiveness and compassion. Now actually, although my mind is saying it's very different, what the angels are saying is that part of um, acknowledging our success and how far we've come is to be compassionate to ourselves, to see um, ourselves in the eyes um, of the angels, of others, of people who love us, and to really um, release judgments about what we think we should have done or could have done better, really allowing ourselves to move forward rather than be stuck in the past. So actually there is uh, a con concurrent message here. But what the angels are saying is that if you are going through challenges and things don't really feel very celebratory, it's also um, a real time to be gentle and to remember that we are far stronger than we give ourselves credit for. So whether or not you've been celebrating in the beginning of the week, the angels will say, hey, don't be so hard on yourself. Stop focusing on the mistakes that you've made. All of us have made mistakes. None of us are perfect, but we're all doing the best we can. So that is a message to remember as you head into the middle of the week. Okay, and as we go into the weekend, we have King of Water, trustworthy, compassionate, respected, cultured. So it could be that you are feeling those qualities or you're recognizing them in others. And actually that's very appropriate given the last two cards. It says, open your heart and mind to those around you, trustworthy and heartfelt advice, charity work. So this is actually a card where we may be seeking support or advice from another person, or we might be seen as the counsellor or mentor. This is a very emotionally supportive person. So either way, even in romantic relationships, perhaps within families, this is reminding us that we really are um, 
able to trust the people that we're around and to let them support us or for you to be the supportive person and you will know what that looks like in your own life. It can also be, as we've talked about before, a great opportunity for you to support a cause that uh, means a lot to you, perhaps in your community or on a wider scale. So it can be very close to home, but it could also be, as we've been talking about at the beginning of the week, more public public work or something that you felt passionate about for a long time. So what this week really, um, the, co- the common theme is, is to um, really allow ourselves to receive from others in whatever way that is being given to us. So rather than pushing it away, allowing ourselves to be supported, acknowledged in some cases, and really... Um, Yeah, opening our hearts once again. Now, of course, every reading is about opening our hearts truthfully because once we open our heart to people around us, to God, to the angels' messages, then everything is going to flow much more easily and peacefully in our lives. And the angels are really wanting us to know that regardless of all the complications and all the challenges that we go through, if we can come back here, then we're always going to feel like we have our home, that we're always going to feel like everything is going to be okay, even if we don't understand all of the details. If you would like to feel more connected to your angels and the messages that Uh, they're sharing with you without having to listen so much to these readings or in conjunction with these readings, then you can join me for my Angelic Connection course where I'll teach you how to communicate with the angels yourself, how to even give readings like this for yourself, for your family, even for your clients and help you to recognise your own intuitive gifts so that you can really listen rather Uh, then listen to your confusion and your fear, you can really start to tap into the wisdom that is always flowing through you and given to you by these beautiful beings, the angels. So if you'd like to join me, all you need to do is check out the link below. I'll post it below. There's details of how you can sign up. We start on the 6th of June. It's a six-week online course where I'll teach you everything that I've learned about communicating with the angels. And you get access to me for six whole weeks in a private Facebook group. So you can learn in the comfort of your own home, wherever you are in the world. If you're a parent, sometimes you want to learn in the evening or in the middle of the night. Maybe you want to listen before you go to work. Or perhaps you want to really take your time and use this as a space to nurture yourself through the next six weeks. You can do that and you can also learn with others going through the course as well in the private Facebook group. It's only £125, which is $159 for the whole six week course. You get to keep all of the content so you can listen back to it, watch it all again, listen to the meditations And you also get extra content from me in the Facebook group. So it's great value for money and it's a super fun, healing, powerful course. Would love to have you join me. So check out the details below or you can even send me a message if you have questions. So look forward to sharing that with you. I will see you again for the daily angel messages and again next week for another weekly angel reading. Bye bye for now.